Hey, what's up folks? Jesse with Southern Reels and it's Friday afternoon and I've been out here working on my trailer getting ready to take a trip down south to do some trout fishing and it kind of hit me, you know what, I've had some questions lately about how my trailer's set up and how I did the sleds and everything for the different kayaks to make it one versus two. So I figured I'd shoot a quick video running through all that real quick, kind of explaining it, show you uh, pretty much how I did it. So here it goes. All right, folks, here what I have is just a pretty standard jet ski trailer. It's basically just the smallest jet ski trailer that they made, I believe. I got it from Craigslist for like 100 bucks, and it needed new wheels and tires and bearings and all, which I've put on it. Now, the ones that I got on here now are kind of rusty because I've had it for a few years, and I used to back this thing in all the time with my Perangler. And when I had my Perangler, all I did was take these sleds here, which I built, and bolted them right to the trailer, and it was good to go. But when I got my second kayak up here, I I needed the ability to haul two kayaks. So what I did is went and purchased this, uh, I think it's two inch aluminum stock right there, which you see, and basically just through bolted it down to the frame of the trailer here. And then I added this two by four here. This is a piece of treated two by four that I covered in carpet and pretty much bolted it down to that aluminum crossbar. And what that gave me the ability to do was to take these sleds that I built. It's pretty much just two two by six pieces of treated lumber that I covered in carpet, uh, cut down to the length that was appropriate for the spacing of these Hobie cradles. You pretty much buy the cradles and you kind of fit them underneath the kayak and see where they fit the best. And that's how I determined the spacing of them anyway. And then I made the sleds about, I don't know, eight to 10 inches longer. And then pretty much just through bolted them through the sleds. That way they stay nice and sturdy. For some reason, screws don't really seem to hold long-term. They'll wiggle loose, but bolts will definitely hold it. And I do recommend using some pretty big washers on these cradles when you bolt them down. And the carpet that I have on everything here, this is just cheap carpet that I got from Lowe's. I think it's like $30 for a big roll of it and it's more than enough to do everything that I did here. And then all I do is just throw a few decking screws through just to hold them in place, and that's pretty much it. It's nice because I can just slide the kayak off like I did right here, take four little screws out, position the sled back over into the center, and just throw the four screws right back in it, and good to go. Or if I want to you know, switch back to two, all I gotta do is the opposite, of course, pull the uh, kayak back off, unscrew it, slide it over, mount it back, and then I can just back my trailer right up underneath my other kayak there that I have hung in the ceiling and drop it right down onto the trailer, mount it, and ready to go. Now there is a little trick. I do have the screws for this one going through the top. So I actually have to pull the kayak off to be able to get the screws out and reposition it. And what I'm gonna do from now on, I'm actually gonna come up from the bottom. Like I actually screw up through this edge here into it. That way I don't have to actually pull the kayak off to reposition it. I can just crawl underneath, pop the four screws out, slide the whole rig right over and do it without having to actually pull the kayak off, which would be much easier, honestly. So. That's pretty much what I've got going on as far as a trailer setup. It's very basic, it's very cheap, nothing fancy. It gets the job done and I don't know, works for me. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.